Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm sharing with you which Instant Pot works best for you and your family. So I'm Kristen, I am sister number two from SixSisterStuff.com and this video is a little bit different but this is one of my most common questions that I get from you guys is which Instant Pot do I need? Which will work best for my family? Which will work just for me and so this is a little video to hopefully help you out to know which instant pot will work best for you so first i'm going to start with sizes there are three different sizes there's a three quart a six quart and an eight quart so let's talk about the three quart first so here are the good things about the three quart if you have a small family like one to two people in the family a three quart would be perfect for you if you plan on not making a lot of food in the Instant Pot. I would say the max amount of people that you can feed in the three quart is four. It's small, you can have small servings if you're gonna make dip or little things, like if you just want one chicken breast or two chicken breasts, the three quart is perfect for that. Another good thing is that it is the smallest out of the Instant Pots, so if you don't have a lot of room in your kitchen, the three quart might be the best fit for you. Some of the bad things about the three quart is that you might have to calculate and cut recipes in half. Most recipes are made for the six quart instant pot. So if you're okay cutting your recipe in half, then you'll be fine with the three quart. All right, moving on to the six quart. Now I personally, I have two six quarts because that fits perfectly for me and my family. And I base my recipes on the six quart Instant Pot. So the good things about this six quart is that it can feed a few more people. So I would say anywhere from four to six people it can feed easily. And like I said before in the three quart, almost all the recipes that you can make in the Instant Pot are made for the six quart. So you don't have to do any adjustments if you buy the six quart. Now the six quart is the medium size. It still is able to fit in the majority of my cupboards but it's not as small as the three quart obviously moving on to the eight quart now if you have a big family I would say six people or more I would think about getting an eight quart the eight quart is pretty big because it fits eight quarts of liquid or food or anything in that specific instant pot a few good things it can feed a lot i borrowed an eight quart and i fed 16 people in an eight quart when i doubled a soup recipe you can have normal sized cheesecakes you can also have other normal sized things such as lasagna or like an enchilada lasagna recipe up there in the corner for you so i guess i'm trying to say when you put a pot inside of the Instant Pot, I call it the pot in pot cooking, it makes it a little bit easier. You have a little bit more room to work with when you have an eight quart. Now I'd say one of the bad things about this, even though it is good for some people, it's kind of bad for me that this pot is big. It is really big. It actually doesn't really fit in my cupboards very well. Um, you can keep it up on top of your counter, not necessarily what I want and so, I stuck with the six quart mainly because of the size. So hopefully that helps you with the size. Now let's talk a little bit about the models. I actually just have the two models. So the models that I have are the Lux model and the Duo model. So I'm gonna tell you just a little bit about these. Now the Lux model was the very first one I got. It's the cheapest one and it's the most basic one. So if you're just thinking about doing the basics of Instant Pot, is what my recipes are all about, simple, easy, basics, then the Lux is perfect for you. It usually averages around $79 on Amazon, but on Prime Day and Black Friday, you can get those a lot cheaper. I've seen them go all the way down to $59. Now there are some things about it that are different than the Duo. The first one is there's a little button on the Duo that's not on the Lux. So if you got the Lux and you're seeing all these little buttons and you're so concerned that you got the wrong Instant Pot or you're missing a piece, you're not. The Lux doesn't have that little silver button to show you if it's pressurized or not. That's just how it was made and nothing is missing if you're missing that piece if you have a Lux. Now on the Lux, it does have a manual button which is the same as the pressure cook button on the other Instant Pots. Now with the Lux, it's a six in one, so there's a lot of different buttons that you can push. I personally like the manual button because I'm looking for high pressure the majority of the time. And the one bad thing about the Lux is there is no 
yogurt button. That is one of the biggest things that's different from the Lux to the Duo. So if you really want to make your own yogurt, go for the Duo. If you really don't want to, stick with the Lux. Simple, basic, and it pretty much can cook anything. All right, my second Instant Pot is the Duo. There are a few different kinds of Duos. I have the seven in one Duo, so that means it has the seven different buttons you can push. I do have the yogurt button on the Duo. Doesn't make that big of a difference for me because I like to purchase my yogurt. The, f the differences are this one has a pressure cook button instead of a manual button. The Duo also has a lid holder, which is pretty great if you want to put your lid on the Instant Pot um, with the Lux, I just have to take my lid off and put it to the side. The other difference with the Duo compared to the Lux is the insert. The insert has some little handles compared to the Lux. I personally like the Duo insert better. So the Duo runs for $99 usually on Amazon, but right now it's actually on sale for $79. So if you are sad that you missed all the deals, you can get this same price as the Lux for only 79. I'm not sure how long that deal will go. I just checked this afternoon. Now there is another duo that's $125. It's the nine in one duo. The thing is it just has a few more functions and buttons. So if you're really into using specific buttons to cook your food, then that would be great for you. But me personally, I love the manual button and the pressure cook button. And that's, I'm just as basic as basic can be when it comes to pressure cooking. All right, you guys, I hope this video helped you in some way. If you are new to the Instant Pot, don't forget to subscribe and push that little bell so you can get all the notifications. Every single Monday, I'm posting a new Instant Pot recipe. So if you want to learn some new recipes, be sure to follow along and check me out every Monday. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope you had a great Christmas and I will see you on Monday. Bye.